I have gone for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with a willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace. They may be fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Return, rebellious children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you, one from a city, two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. I will appoint over you shepherds after my own heart, who will shepherd you wisely and prudently. When you multiply and become fruitful in the land, says the Lord, they will in those days no longer say, the ark of the covenant of the Lord. They will no longer think of it or remember it or miss it or make another. At that time, they will call Jerusalem the Lord's throne. There all nations will be gathered together to honor the name of the Lord of Jerusalem, and they will no longer in their hard-hearted wickedness. The word of the Lord. Our psalm response. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of the conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as the shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it, and the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy. But he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Our first reading is taken from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. And in Jeremiah, this section, he, speaking 
For God is saying to the children of Israel, Return to me. Repent of your wrongdoing. Be converted in your heart and return to God. And I will appoint shepherds to rule over you. Shepherds being, as we've talked about, patriarchs, priests, prophets, kings. In our day, we would say the bishops and the priests who would lead you and guide you if we only return. But that return nowadays should not just be assumed to be directed to the flock. More importantly, it should be directed toward the shepherds. In light of more accusations and now with uh, the former Cardinal Archbishop of Washington, D.C., Theodore McCarrick, with uh, the accusations which appear to be extremely credible. I am reminded of all this. Uh, uh, St. John Chrysostom, an Eastern father of the church, if you remember, he was called the golden mouth or the golden tongue because he was such a, a influential preacher. John Chrysostom said, and I'm a paraphrase, but the road to hell is paved with the skulls of erring priests, priests who are at fault. But they have the bishops as the signpost directing you where to go. We need to pray for the conversion of our bishops and our priests. We need to pray seriously for that that they can focus on what is important. Yes, I'm sure social causes are, are great and important, but when you compare a social cause with living a moral life representing what you, you stand for, then the social cause falls away. Because if you're not living what your calling is, then how can you stand on the sure footing to promote the social cause? Pray for priests and bishops, the shepherds. If the wolf is going to attack the flock, he's going to try to take out the shepherd first. Because a defenseless flock is easy pickings. Pray for the shepherds. Now, mighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present this morning. For all these needs from this one Catholic family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And we pray for our legacy fund, for the generosity and thanksgiving for the generosity of those who have donated, donated already, and in thanksgiving for those who will donate in the future. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer in honor of the Most Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, or without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Let me show this where I want to make sure the dip goes on so much. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept we pray this sacrifice from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, Amen. always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you. And all your saints with one heart bless you. We too. Uh, extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, most high and highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, most high and highest. Good morning, brothers and sisters. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. So once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, if formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the world, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Amen.
Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed, Blessed be, be his holy name. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed, Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed, Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed, Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints.